Graphite is the first social commerce platform built from the ground up to be integrated with those existing channels that you have with the 99% of your existing conversation with the systems that support those. And we've done it so that it's really easy to integrate with your existing systems and channels. We have very large brands activating with Graphite right now, very small brands. Very few of them have taken more than 90 minutes of total programming support from IT to get this live, to get this launched. Soon, there'll be over a billion users on Facebook. What Graphite will give a brand is an ability to turn those users into advocates and, and have those users start to share you with their friends. And people will share your brand and will share your products with their friends, uh, not because you're giving them points. They're not going to share because you're giving them rewards. Um, that you don't have to pay them. And, and the last thing they want is some dorky badge from you on their Facebook profile. Right? The reason people will share you with their friends is the same reason people use Facebook. They want to express who they are, the clothes we wear, the car we drive, um, all, and the music we listen to, for example, all say something about who we are, and that's really what Facebook is all about. And the reason we want to express ourselves to our friends is that we all want to be loved and we all want to belong. So there's this incredible opportunity for social commerce because really it shares the same thing. Again, the reason we shop and the re reason we use Facebook is really the same exact thing. Um, so the, the clothes that we buy from Real Allah say something about who we are. The perfume we wear says something. We travel because we want to belong. We want to be with our friends and we want to be loved. The games we play with our friends after our spouses go to bed till 3 o'clock in the morning really is about being with your friends, not about playing a game. The, the, the games we attend in person rather than watching it on TV are about the same thing. And it's why we go to concerts and don't listen to music just on our iPod. So uh, check out this video, and you'll get a better sense of what I mean. Well, thank you. So they, uh, they lived happily ever after, by the way. <laughs> so uh, it, uh, I think we could summarize Graphite and say there are three core capabilities that Graphite brings. Uh, the first is the ability to create social expressions in multiple different channels. The second is it enable people to shop without leaving Facebook with shoppable stories. And the third is our interest graph API that makes it possible to integrate this with your existing marketing and e-commerce systems and scale up your opportunity with social commerce. Social expressions um, is, is really what drives the advocacy. It gives someone an, an ability to more specifically express how they feel about your product. And the brand can decide which actions we call, these are called actions, that they like to, to deploy 
maybe love or want or own or wearing or war or listening to or attending. Those are the types of actions that, that a brand can, uh, can add to their existing channels. And it makes it easier for me to express how I feel about your offer to my friends. And, and because it's easier, I'll share more. And more of us will bring a lot more advocacy uh, to your brand and a lot more awareness and buzz on Facebook and will result in more traffic back to your website and, and online sales. Uh, we made it really easy um, for someone to engage. So this is deeply integrated with the Facebook custom open graph and the new timeline that they've released for, for users. Um, so now the, the, the most common use case uh, of Graphite will be to enable your existing website with social actions. So on the product detail page, near the add to bag button, the image of the product, you'll now have a few uh, actions, custom actions for the brand. These look and feel like Fashion Co. The marketer decided what their actions would be. Their creative team designed them to our spec. Uh, and they're added to the website really easily. So now from here, I can tell my friends when I'm shopping that I want that red dress or that I potentially own it. We've made it as easy to implement as the Facebook Like button. So your IT team can implement this in less than 90 minutes. Uh, we can just have you go into the dashboard, into the Graphite dashboard, click Get Embed Code, grab the, a few lines of JavaScript, add those to your site, test it, and you're done. It's really, really easy to implement. Uh, we've also designed it so that the business person controls this. It's not an IT tool. It's a tool for the marketer, the e-commerce ops manager. So it's much easier uh, for you to control the data. You can create actions, manage the actions, and the creative. And, and I'll show you how easy it is to create an action in a minute. Uh, but the data is an important one. When a customer says that she wants a dress from you to Facebook, that's being posted to the open graph. And the challenge with the open graph is that it's open. So you should think of it as sort of a public graph. There are things that you might not want to share publicly, um, maybe inventory information or pricing or a, or, a, or a special promotion that you don't want everyone to be able to see. Those are all things that you can control with Graphite. You can decide what you want to share with the open graph and what you want to kind of keep private within Graphite. Now, the actions in the creative are really easy to manage. So a marketer or an e-commerce ops manager would log in, in this case, go to the romantic dresses product category and add a love action um, to that category. And then log in to the creative plugins manager. Say I'm going to upload some creative for the love button. Pick, pick that creative. And you've got different states like hover or selected or unselected that you can display to a user and add all that right uh, within the dashboard. Uh, so there's not a need to create a small IT project to make these changes. You don't have to call anyone to make these changes. The marketer or the ops manager can just do that right inside Graphite. We've also um, implemented a reporting suite, so we give uh, the user some great insights into what's happening um, from a high level of earned media, how, you know, how much traffic is being driven from these social actions back to my website down to which products are more viral and shareable than others, to which actions have produced more interactions. Does the favored button work better than the love button for dresses? Um, you can have different actions associated with different product categories. Obviously, the actions for furniture would look different than the actions for fashion if, uh, if you sell both. And so all that insight is made available to the marketer, and it's really easy to use to see what's going on. And you can use this to A-B test things and maximize the opportunity. So maybe we should be using favorite for dresses and not love, for example. The second core capability is, is something I think is really cool, which is something we've, we've called shoppable stories. When, when someone says, I want this product, and we share that to Facebook, we don't share just a link. We actually share a shoppable store. And it enables someone to shop that story on Facebook without actually leaving Facebook. So, um, it shows up like this in the news feed. It shows up in the ticker. It shows up in the timeline uh, when you share this to Facebook. And now it's this interactive, um, brand consistent, shoppable story right in the middle of Facebook's homepage. So, um, so Fashion Co. can decide uh, and control that brand experience, that rich shopping experience right inside Facebook. And from a user point of view, 
I'd much rather just hit play and expand this and check out what it is that was shared to me uh, versus clicking a link because a link means leaving. And a lot of people don't want to leave the Facebook experience, so don't make them. Um, in fact, the shoppable stories drive about an 18x lift in interaction rates or click rates versus sharing a link because, again, we all know what a link does. It means we have to leave Facebook. Uh, brand marketers love this because it's a really rich, controlled brand experience now uh, inside Facebook. We also make it really easy to change that creative. So you can log into the dashboard, um, open up the shoppable stories uh, area, and upload some different creative if you wanted to try something other than what's on the screen now. And again, this is something that the business user can configure, and it's not an IT project. So we're changing the header from Fashion Co. in this example to Fashion Co. get 15% off. Those are types of things that you could do with banners and other, and other creative. The third component of Graphite is really important. It's called the Interest Graph API. And the API is what allows you to scale this up with, with other existing systems. So if you wanted to integrate this Interest Graph data, the information that you know about that someone wanted this item or they, or they love this item or they already own this item, that's all relevant insight and very useful to use in your existing marketing e-commerce systems. And what, with that information, you can create a better experience that's more social in each channel that you have and personalize those. I think the two most common use cases right now for the Interest Graph API are around email and product recommendations. So in email, uh, through the Interest Graph API, we could trigger an email to someone that wanted an item. So if Melissa wanted, she, she clicked want on your website and said, I want this red dress, when it goes on sale, send it to her. So we can automatically trigger an email out uh, to Melissa letting her know that, that item she wanted is now on sale. The other one is product recommendations. So the product recommendations engine that you use now can be made smarter by give, giving it interest graph data. So if, again, if I wanted those skinny jeans uh, and I'm on your website, then shouldn't those skinny jeans show up in a recommended products pane? Absolutely, it should. So that's, that's your quick intro uh, to Graphite. Now I'd like to introduce a few of the key players behind the product. We've got some amazing, brilliant people on the team, and I'd like you to meet just a couple of them now. What the new Graphite platform brings is a friend-to-friend, -friend, scalable, repeatable process that's lights out. And more importantly, this is going to be friend-to-friend -friend sharing at the long-tail product level. A lot of social commerce strategies today focus on trying to give people deals or giving them badges or making a game out of it. People share on Facebook because they want to express who they are. Oftentimes, expressing what you own and sharing what you own or what you aspire to own can often express who you are better than your own words can. Brands have been very reluctant to allow users to really express themselves. What the Graphite platform brings are two very important things. Not only is the user interface for the actions consistent with the brand message, but the vocabulary of each one of those verbs can be tailored to the company and really communicate the brand feel and mimic what their advocates like to express about that brand. We wanted to build something that a marketer could add their actions, design the creative around it, A-B test it. If they want those changes to go live, it's as simple as deploying it out to production. With Graphite, you won't need to call IT anymore. We built Graphite to make sure that it was really easy for the merchant to deploy and put on their website. A simple few lines of JavaScript code added to your product pages, and you're able to add social commerce actions to your site. No merchant should take lightly a request to just add more code to their product pages. Keeping your product pages light and easy and fast is really important. When we designed Graphite, we made sure that we use the most advanced techniques possible to load that plugin asynchronously in a way that would never cause your page to slow down at all. To do that, we created a suite of plugins that the web developer or the marketing manager in that organization can use to create social actions and then put those on a product page. And now, when your friends visit your timeline, they're gonna be able to see all of the items that you've wanted, maybe that you've loved, maybe that you've actually marked and shared with your friends that you own. When this share occurs, 
Graphite has um, something that we call a shoppable story, which is actually a mini catalog that will open up in timeline, ticker, and newsfeed. And this allows us to show products personalized to that share, and it's almost a brand new channel for the retailer. We made this very flexible and easy for the marketer to change and experiment with social commerce, but it's a very easy integration for IT. So if you've added a Facebook like button, a tweet button, any other Google Analytics, you have already done the exact same amount of work that it takes to add the Graphite plugin. Many people have avoided doing social projects because they know that APIs can change at a moment's notice and things require constant maintenance. We made sure that we wouldn't require any kind of complicated data transfers or catalog exports. The way that we add data to the Graphite database is a process we call hydration. Hydration can happen in many ways. The easiest way is having open graph tags on your page already. You have a title, a description, and an image. That's product data. We'll read it, and you're done. This allows our merchant partners to go live very quickly and create a very durable product for the long term. The Graphite platform is going to enable a whole new strategy on how we market in this day of social integration. We have analytics for every step of this earned media funnel from how many people see actions, to how many people take actions, to how many of those actions actually get into a Facebook news feed, and then finally the click back to the site. And we believe that this true trackability of this earned media funnel is one of the things that will really bring ROI into social commerce.